what is up everybody uh cash here bringing you another 1v1 new tools video on my personal favorite pokemon uh that's come out recently rillaboom uh you might be saying wait cash R rillaboom didn't come out with a dlc why are you showing us rillaboom and although it wasn't exactly dlc like a week before dlc came they got their hidden abilities, the starters. So I'm counting this as relatively new mon. So we're gonna make a video about Rollaboom just because it's good. I like it. It counts as a newer thing. And yes, sir, that's pretty much it. Okay, so um, before we start the video, uh, two things. I'm gonna start saying this before every video. Uh, the sets, uh, spreads in here, like the moves, everything that I show, um, while it is like the most standard stuff, the things you'll see on ladder, the things that I already can guarantee you will work versus things that you play against, um, are not the only options. Uh, 1v1 is my favorite metagame. Um, 1v1, the whole reason I even started playing 1v1 and got involved with 1v1 and ultimately kind of, I hate saying I made 1v1, but ultimately though, the reason that I pressed so hard to improve 1v1 and make it permanent was because... I loved how creative you could really be. Um, you can, you know, change your mods even the slightest to make them beat anything you want <laughs> within reason. Um, so yeah, you can always make these different than what I'm using, but I'm giving you these as a base that they will work for you. And they have been tested um, sometimes by me, sometimes by other players. They have been EV'd to beat certain things and they will be successful for you, especially when you're first learning you're definitely going to want to just slam some of these um, just to get a good feel. So, now that we're out of the way with that. Uh, second, uh, if you already watched a Zoomerl video, I'm sorry, but I'm saying this again in this one. Um, and if you watch the Zoomerl after this, you're going to hear the same exact thing. But today, the music we're listening to is by Hana G. Actually, my girlfriend Katie's cousin. <laughs> he produces music. Um, he makes beats. They are really cool. He's a, a really nice dude. They are honestly like you can listen to these. They're you know they're pretty good. Um, like I, I'm not just being like oh listen to this random guy on SoundCloud. Like I wouldn't do that if I didn't think they were good. Uh, the story I tell is I was literally listening to a song by Johnny Two Phones. I don't know if anyone's heard of him, but came up with my suggested on Spotify. Uh, right in the beginning of the song, it says like Hana G on the track. And I already knew that her cousin made beats under the name Hana G. His name's Hunter. Um, and I, I asked Katie about it and it was actually him. So that was like pretty cool. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to play some of his songs in the background. If you want to check them out, I'll probably link his, uh, I'll probably link his SoundCloud. Um, so yeah, so we're going to play some of these. You can listen to them. And uh, yes, sir, that is what it is. Hopefully it's not mind-numbingly loud for me. All right, so Rillaboom, the boomer. All right, it's too, too loud in my headphones. Uh, Rillaboom, as always, the raw stats. It's a starter, so it's always got pretty good stats. You know that going in. Uh, 100 base HP, strong, really high. You know, you can see with the max attack, 404, that's extremely good. Um, and with substitute, which we have on one of these sets, that actually makes your substitutes unable to be broken by seismic toss, which is really good. Um, more like nightshade, can't break them either. Um, 125 attack, that's super high, and uh, you'll see with some of the other tools that Rillaboom has, that is even like just, uh, we just abuse that ridiculously. Um, defense, 90, that's really high too. Special attack, completely irrelevant, 60, that's low, whatever. Um, 70 special special defense is like average not great but it's okay workable definitely especially with 100 hp and 85 speed is like you know in the past that might have been like an average speed tier relatively fast uh not crazy fast but like workable where you don't need to invest much speed and you'll still be faster than things which is nice um so uh abilities we used to only be able to use overgrow, right? So people used to use like, people still ran subseed, but people used to use more of a, like a substitute set where you just like sub all the way down to put yourself in overgrow and use your ability. But forget that, 
that's out because it's hidden ability that came out grassy surge is actually disgusting and broken <laughs> like i mean it's not really broken but like it's just ridiculously strong so when you come in it gives you grassy terrain what grassy terrain does is it weakens ground moves powers up grass moves and um gives you passive healing turn for turn if you're touching the ground uh so it's just it's like it's just crazy how much benefit it gives you with literally no drawback um on top of that uh you're gonna see some of the moves that Rillaboom gets like really can abuse the grassy terrain so like um it's high base stats plus grassy surge just really pushed it over the edge of being like extremely strong and i'm gonna show you three and a half sets here that i think are good and i've spammed I, I might even say Rillaboom is like my most used mon on the ladder like i've spammed this thing constantly I, you can see my teams when i test other mons Rillaboom's just on there chilling because it's just so good and so strong um so we're gonna start off with uh the most simple set it can have <laughs> choice banded Rillaboom um choice band obviously you know gives you 1.5 attack really strong uh you know your evs they are nothing crazy uh gives you 220 base speed um you can run faster slower than that if you want but you might not necessarily need it um some of this defense is is just to live like random attacks from like uh one of them is they're, they're just to make you a little bit bulkier um i don't know exactly what what these EVs are for um, but you can see that most of it's poured into attack uh, I'm pretty sure it's just for you to eat some neutral hits and stuff like that from common mons um, but yeah you, you just you don't need other stats so you're allowed to invest in bulk because your attacks are already so high plus the adamant uh, you put yourself at 220 speed which um, you know as I've talked about in a previous video you can look at the speed tier list and if you want to be faster or slower adjust accordingly uh, but you don't actually need that much speed because of what I'm about to say. Uh, it's moves. You've got wood hammer. 100% accurate. 120 power grass move. It does hurt you. <laughs> so be careful if you can't kill your opponent. It's going to crush you for a lot of damage. Because um, it gets grassy, grassy surge boosted. Which makes it like 150 something power. And it, it honestly just crushed. Like, if you don't resist it, it kills you. It literally does, like, 80% to Togekiss. <laughs> Which is just disgusting. That's a resisted hit, right? Um, it, if it, your mon you're facing does not resist grass, it will die from Woodhammer. Like, that's all I have to say. It's Any neutral mon is dead from that. <laughs> um, so you can click that versus, like, stall. Like, I literally Woodhammered a, like, a full defense... A violate cursula earlier cursula g whatever earlier and it did like 80 something which is just disgusting and then i ended up killing it uh after um so yeah wood hammer is just like if you're faster than the opposing mon click wood hammer but the reason that this is really so broken is because of this a new move grassy glide uh 70 base power that's pretty average but if you're on grassy terrain which we always are it gives you 90 base power plus priority so it always goes first so you don't even need speed and you get stab on top of that that's like it's just ridiculous right so you can just click glassy grind a lot of times and kill things that you know are normally faster than you like darmanitan uh the ice one darmanitan galar just click glassy it normally would kill you with an ice move but instead you click grassy glide and they die uh knockoff is here to give you some coverage uh beat some the ghost pokemon um can make you beat dragapult if they're not substitute uh beats marowak also can beat um just like any stray ghosts uh it doesn't really help you as gengar because that just still kills you but uh as you'll you'll see in some of these replays i do catch another ghost type with it so um can beat most of the ghost pokemon and superpowers in here to hit steals uh magnezone things that might resist your grass moves that you a normal type uh if you know something has like um actually no that doesn't really mean yeah so superpower just mostly hits like steel types uh, it can hit feral thorn it can hit magnezone it can hit duraladon um 
I could hit Kiram. Uh, basically anything that gra like grass might not be good versus. It can hit, you know, a random fire type if you need to hit it for <laughs> with a with a strong neutral move. You got superpower. Um, you can run like uh, you can't actually run earthquake because grassy terrain makes earthquake worse. You could run high horsepower if you want because that is not affected by grassy terrain. Um, those are really your only options. Uh, I I you you could I guess technically run a U-turn for like Malamar, but um, for the most part, the mods that can have a U-turn like such as like Celebi will also get killed by knockoff. So that's uh, no big deal. Um, so yeah, choice band, straightforward, easy set, good for beginners. Send your real boom out there. Click the strongest move. Boom. Um, now a set that's slightly the same, but uh, runs a little bit differently is this set, uh, Life Orb, as you can see, right? Life Orb gives you slightly less power than Choice Band, but it allows you to change moves, and it also gives you Fake Out, uh, which is really good because if they're Fake Out, um, I mean, if you need to use Fake Out for something like, say you're losing to Magnazone, whose weakness policy by using Choice Band, you can switch over to this Rillaboom, um, you can use Fake Out, which should, if I'm remembering correctly, make sure their sturdy is broken, then you can hit them with superpower the following turn, killing them without having to deal with their weakness policy going off and them O-coing you with uh, Flash Cannon. Um, so Fake Out, while a little bit counterintuitive because Grassy Surge can heal some of the Fake Out damage, does give you some matchups versus like Porygon Z's who aren't defensive, where you can hit them with a fake out and do a grassy glide, and that actually does more damage than a choice band grassy glide would grassy <laughs> grassy glide would do. Um, so that's pretty much the reason for it. This set, uh, some people think is slightly better than band. Um, I think they're pretty close to equal. I've used them both. Um, but yeah, so same moves. It's you know your your two really good grass uh, moves, fake out of course, and then you can run superpower. You can run high horsepower. Uh, I think those are best. You can run knock off, but one of the best parts about the set is beating Magnazone. So you know you want one of the moves that hit Magnazone. Probably you could maybe get away with running knock off, but definitely not optimal. And if you want to run knock off, I'd recommend just running Choice Band. Uh, these EVs, you know, you could make them slightly the same as these if you want to use more defensive, but this is just straight up. I'm fast. I hit you hard. I have max attack. Um, again, EVs are... I show you what EVs I use, but you can really use whatever you want. So, we've got those two sets, uh, which are pretty common, and then we've got the last one, which used to be more common. I feel like it's slightly fallen off, but there's two... I've got two variations of it. Uh, shout out Potato Chan for giving me them earlier today because I was only going to put one in the video. But um, So the first one is this one. Uh, it's almost max HP. Pretty close to max special defense. Uh, with careful nature, it's got Grassy Seed, which if you don't know what that does, it gives you a boost in your defense in the Grassy Terrain by one stage, so plus one defense can be good just from eating physical hits in general. And then uh, this is sub seed. So basically the premise, exactly like how Whimsicott does it, you click leech seed on something and then you're able to like protect down, substitute, heal yourself up, protect, substitute. You just alternate protecting and substituting to get more moves, but you actually don't need to do that with this set. Um, how this set functions, this specific one, is taunt for Porygon Z. Uh, so you can basically taunt Porygon Z so that it can't, um, it can't like nasty plot or, or do whatever, it will recover. So it can't recover mostly. Um, drum beating is your last move because in some matchups, this can be really good. Drum beating actually makes them slower. So if you're able to like catch them with some drum beatings, it will make them too slow to keep up with your subs or your, your protects and like you'll be able to get more attacks off and things like that. Um, so this isn't the standard one. This one is just pretty much for Porygon Z, but we're gonna use a similar set. This one is the more standard, in my opinion, the better um, set. 
basically the exact same thing, grassy seed, but instead of taunt for Porygon Z, we have substitute. Um, so how it works is, you'll see in the replays later, but you click lead seed on them, they hit you, doesn't do that much damage. You click protect, you get the lead seed recovery, you get the grassy terrain recovery, puts you close to back to 100 health, then you click substitute the next turn. You know, they're slowly getting chipped away by the leech seed damage. Then you, you know, if you want to finish them off with drum beating, you can. If you want to just slow them down with drum beating because you want to be able to substitute before they can attack you, that's an option as well. Um, you got max attack to give you these big subs like we talked about, 404. Puts you, uh, your subs out of range of Nightshade, out of, sh out of range of uh, Seismic Toss. Um, so that's pretty good. And then you just got uh, some of the special offense and stuff. This one is for Porygon. This extra special offense is like to specifically be Porygon Z. But this is just the standard. Gives you the most overall bulk. Gives you the speed tier that we want. The 220 we talked about earlier. Um, and this set's pretty pretty good. Um, can catch some things off guard if they're if they're ready getting ready to stall because they think your offensive set and instead you're start hit like. You know, just using subseed on them and outstall them it can be pretty good. So we'll look at some replays of me using all of these sets. Um, there's not too many. We'll just look at a few. Uh, so we're gonna start off with, I believe this is Life Orb. Um, so it doesn't really come into play this game, but you can see the idea of it is that I click Fake Out, and then the next turn I just click. Uh, but you can see how my Fake Out hurts him, and then he heals. Doesn't matter versus it's a weak Pokemon like Alakazam, but like versus a stronger defensive Pokemon, sometimes you actually don't get much damage off. Uh, but the other other bright side is that with the Life Orb damage, you actually only end up taking three percent after the Grassy Terrain. So it's a really small price to play, pay for a lot of extra power. Um, and then yeah, I'm, I'm able to just automatically be faster with my priority Grassy Glide, Alakazam, it's goner. Uh, pr pretty straightforward. Um, here is another, ex this one is banned now. Now I'm using a band set. Um, I got Kiram, right? And, you know, normally a grass move, grass move's not doing much to Kiram. It's dragon, it resists. It will just use ice beam and I'll die. Um, luckily he is not running, he or she is not running max speed. I'm able to be faster. I can use my superpower, which is super effective one shot to gear him um so that's why you have the coverage on there to beat things that you know your grass moves can't hit uh this is another um show of band where i'm versus delmize a pokemon that i can't hit with my grass stab won't do enough damage i can't hit it with superpower um but luckily i have knockoff coverage to beat the ghost so knockoff just one shots them their assault vest just easy as that um, so now we've got Rillaboom versus Urshifu, right? I'm able to, I, I don't think that it would be able to kill me anyway, but maybe, you know, it could get banded poison jab and crit me and I could lose. But instead, I'm able to just, you know, use my fake out for a little chip, hit him with my priority, stab, grassy glide. That's, you know, a big, good mon in the meta. Just dead easy for Rillaboom. Um... So I believe this is where I start using, yes, this team is my Grassy Seed team. So this this is a little bit more complicated to use because it's not as straightforward as the offensive sets, right? So obviously Leech Seed doesn't work on Alakazam because of Magic Guard, right? It won't take Leech Seed damage, just like it won't take Toxic damage, doesn't take Stealth Rocks. So instead I'm just clicking my attacks, right? He uses Psychic, doesn't even come close to killing me. And even though I'm not invested and I'm more of a defensive set, because of how strong the stab plus grassy terrain boost is, my drum beating just will kill a lot of things. So it just instantly kills Alexam. Um, this is gonna be another example using the same team where I'm versus a different Mon. Uh, also, hi, Starium Z. If you, if you are watching this, uh, I know you asked me slightly about these sets while I was making the video. So what's up if you decide to watch? Um, they use Draco Meteor. I use, I'm able to use my Leech Seed. I get so much recovery back, right? Uh, they just forfeit because they know that I'll just click protect. I'll get recovery, recovery, 
and so I went I went from what he hit me for that much I was at 33 and I was able to gain 15% back right yep so I'm at 33 the the dress train heals me for six the lead seed heals me for another six or, or nine I mean and then I protect I gain that same amount back and I'm I'm out of range he would need to crit me to win and I can just keep doing that and gaining HP back. Um, so that's basically the whole point of, of using substitute. Oh, I didn't switch sides in this one. Okay. So here's gonna you're gonna see the full the full thing here. So I go my Rillaboom, he goes Aegis Slash, he King Shields turn one, uh, which is trying to see if I use defense or uh, use an attacking move. Instead, I'm able to get seeds down on him. Now I'm able to use my protect, right? I'm slowly chipping him away. I know that I'm not in risk of dying, so I'm able to click drum beating there uh, just to end it a little bit quicker. And look how much recovery I get back, right? And now I'm just clicking protect every other turn. He can't do anything. He's just taking, you know, all the chip damage from the leech seed. And uh, he tries to go for the king shield here, but it doesn't even matter because you'll, as you can see, he's taking too much damage every single turn. I'm always getting my protect off. It's always hurting him and healing me and then just like that he's he's gone game over so that's how sub seed works if you've never seen that before it is a common strategy in 1v1 uh, mostly with whimsicott but we're using a thrill of boom right here um and we've got last one so rillaboom versus dragapult uh this is gonna be the same similar thing right uh so he goes for a flamethrower doesn't do anything to me i'm able to get the seeds down and like you know same story just there's nothing they can do they just lose to sub seed because i'm able to just gain too much health back where flamethrower just can't do enough to me um so i i do and i opt to go for just hitting them for some damage and you can even see even though i'm not invested in attack and that is a resistant attack it did 30 percent. that's really good um, let's see this person says this is quite toxic because uh, a lot of people don't like this strategy very much and because of using the whatever grassy terrain um, healing plus leech seed healing I'm able to just stay way too healthy flamethrower can't beat me and boom he's gone um, so yeah that's how you use the set it's not super super complicated and it's really strong especially if you're a new player and you're playing on the lower ladder um yeah so counters to this uh dragons are a big one um as you can see you really don't have much to hit dragons uh like drago if you're not running knockoff like so say you're running life orb right you can't hit dragapult uh say you're running sub seed but they're running substitute themselves which is a common dragapult set you can't hit dragapult <laughs> Say they're just running literally like Gudra, you know, you can't, uh, you might not be able to beat Gudra. I mean, you could maybe banded superpower probably does a decent chunk, uh, but it would slow you down and then you would die in two shots. So you'd actually definitely can't beat Gudra. Um, so you gotta be careful about mons that just don't take uh, a lot of damage from grass moves, you know, fire types, uh, Rotom, um, things that can kill you in one shot that are faster than you and don't get killed by grassy glide uh, You should be a little careful like you you can't beat Corviknight if they're faster than you and hit you with taunt um, If you're not running superpower, you can't beat feral thorn, you know, you, you can't beat Como uh, There's just you know some things that you need to be just caught if you're not running knockoff You can't beat Marowak and even if you are running knockoff if they're running defensive with counter you know that can still kill you so uh obviously toga kiss is a good counter it has flying stab and doesn't take much from grassy glide so uh, and then same thing with volcarona right it has two stab moves that hurt you and you can't really do much back uh so there are a good a good chunk of counters um really you just need like a, a nice strong grass resist but you have to be a little bit careful that you can't get picked off by there uh coverage move so you know you don't want to be like oh my grass resist is delmize but delmize obviously doesn't beat knockoff so it can't 
necessarily beat Rillaboom if he has knockoff, as that guy found out earlier. Or, like, my grass resist is this Kiram, or this Scarf Dragapult, um, that, you know, get killed by coverage moves without running enough speed. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty straightforward. And then partner Rillaboom. Uh, this is the easiest section of any video. I think Rillaboom is one of the most splashable mons. You can put this on like legit every team. It's grass type. Um, it's got good coverage. So, you know, it's easy to just make a fire water grass team with this. Uh, you can use, you know, Rillaboom Primarina is like super strong. I've used Rillaboom Primarina. If I can't figure out a good team, like let's say I was just randomly using whatever. I, I want to use Halucha and I couldn't figure out good partners. I would literally just go Rillaboom Primarina <laughs> Halucha. Like I actually do that and it's fine. So that is definitely an option. Um, but you know, it, it's just like if you can't beat, you know, you want something for fire types, right? It makes perfect sense to just run a water type with it. Um, so yeah, yeah, for partners, it's it's really simple. I, th I think you can put Rilla with a lot of things, really anything that you, you like or want to use. Uh, water types are really good with it, and we have a lot of good water types in the tier. You want to use Azumarill with it, that's great. You want to use Primarina with it, that's great. You want to use our Shifu water, that's good too. Um, can beat a lot of things, and also can beat some stall. And also, is you can make it so it beats Porygon Z, uh, some of the Porygon Z sets at least. Um, so, you know, it has, it has a lot of options, uh, and you want something that, you also want something that beats, um, dragons. So that's why Primarina is such a good partner. Um, you know, you could use Sylveon if you didn't want to use Primarina as just another strong fairy type, you know, Azumarill I talked about earlier. Uh, you could use a fast dragon of your own. Uh, you could use a steel type to try to beat dragons. Um, you know, it's up to you, but there's a lot of options and a real boom can go with a lot of things. So if you ever make a team and you're really struggling to find a good third or or a good base to start with, you can always just try one of these Rillaboom sets. Uh, they are really strong and they beat a lot of things on the ladder. So that is all for our Rillaboom video. I hope everyone learned something and enjoyed and I will see you guys next Friday. Um, thanks for watching and peace.